I'm Steven with Tobacco Cabana. Wait a minute, let's do that again. I had a funny look on my face. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Steven with Tobacco Cabana. And I'm David. I'm a Texan and I love cigars. This is Pit Stop. All right, welcome back to the show, you guys. Uh, appreciate you guys always stopping in and uh, taking a look at our pit stops. We appreciate every viewer that's out there. We love doing these things, bringing you guys some news in our new format that we've got. And speaking of news, that's what we're going to deliver right now. Absolutely. We've got some interesting news, some stuff, uh, a cigar that's been around a long time. Absolutely. And, um, but we can't start without a Texas toast. You know, that's true. You, you, are, you are very true, sir. So... We're gonna we're gonna use some of this ZZ top here. We've got. Uh, I hope you have your drink at home. If you whatever you want to drink, uh, water, tea, coffee, lemonade, orange water, juice. Oh, what doesn't anything. matter? Whatever time of the day it is, we've got this. But we always appreciate you guys, and like we say to good friends, good conversation. conversation. This is what we call a Texas toast. Cheers, Ch cheers, y'all. Boom. Yeah, yeah, that's good. All right, that from good. Sancho Panza. Yeah, this is a this is yeah interesting news. Yep, they have revamped their whole line and channel. So the entire Sancho Panza line has been modernized, and the brand's three updated collections have been shipping this week. Yeah, Matt Wilson, senior brand manager of Sancho Panza, said Sancho Panza has always been dependable, tried and true smoke where the first puff is the same as the last. Hmm. Cigar culture has evolved, and so has the desire for dimensional smoking experiences hmm. that deliver a multitude of experiences in one cigar. Wow. With this in mind, we tap the creative juggernaut known as Matt Booth. Right. Absolutely. To collaborate on the Sancho blends and the look and feel of the brand. With Sancho, it is as important to us to respect the traditionalist as it is to embrace the modern smoker, and we feel we've ticked the boxes for both. Wow. Yeah, so Matt Booth, Justin Andrews, and the Hatsa blending team built three distinct Sancho blends, each unified by a bedrock of stellar blend composition, are backed by aesthetic personality to capture the smoker's attention. Okay, so it's got my attention already, right. and I'm just reading this stuff. Matt Booth said the relaunch of Sancho Panza marks an exciting turning point for this iconic brand. By elevating brand aesthetics, investing ourselves in the realization of intelligent blend expressions, and putting the force of our ground pounders behind this brand in the streets, we are taking Sancho Panza to a new lifespan and beyond. I am extremely proud of the work that the entire team has done to bring these new expressions to life, and I look forward to witnessing the brand's newfound potential. Absolutely. Each Santo Panza blend is medium to medium full body hmm. and delivers layers of complexity that are apparent from the first puff to the last. All cigars are presented in a 20 count box with the new Sancho Panza logo that was created by Booth to give the nod to the Latin culture and vibe of West LA. Well, I had no idea that Matt Booth was involved with Sancho Panza. He's, he's, he's got his hands in yeah. a lot of places and that always brings So this was a blends. brand that I'm very familiar with back in the early days of smoking. Yep. It was a very affordable stick. Um, but now that, and, and it was just one that I just kind of brushed off. But now with this description, with Matt Booth involved, I'm kind of interested again now. Uh, so anyways, the, um, the original blend, Sancho Panza original, is a five country blend made with a filler consisting of Dominican, Nicaraguan, and a Brazilian Matafina with a Mexican San Andres binder. Mm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. The blend is enrobed in a Honduran grown Connecticut wrapper. All told, this is a creamy smoke that imparts a slightly sweet touch on the palate with notes of cappuccino. I like a good cappuccino. Absolutely. A deep undercurrent of nuts is a prevalent is prevalent throughout the experience. Sancho Panza original is a medium-bodied smoke. 
They've got your five and a half by, by 50, six and a half by 52, and a six by 60. These are all cigars that are under $8. What a great price point. Yes. Absolutely. You've also got the double Maduro and the Extra Fuerte extra. that are coming out. Again, similar Vitolas and similar price points, although some of them start getting up into that 950 range. Oh no, heaven forbid. But any, <laughs> any cigar under 10 yeah, bucks is a great cigar. cigar. It's like, uh, and days. definitely worth a revisit. Yeah. A yeah. good established brand like Sancho Panza. Yeah, I mean that blend has got uh, some Sumatra in it. We're talking at the Extra Fuerte. has got Ecuadorian Sumatra, U.S. Connecticut Broadleaf, Dominican. This is very interesting to me. Yes. Uh, the Matt Booth uh, component to it has got me very interested in trying this cigar again. Yeah. Yeah. On another note, um, we've got PCA and Boutique Cigar Association. Right. So I heard this the other day in a conference call with uh, Mr. Gabby Caffey. Mm. And this is the most exciting news I've heard about PCA in a long time. So BCAA joining with PCA are going to be hosting a booth, and not a little booth, but a large platform booth at PCA. Mm. Now again, for us as brick and mortars and people who attend it, this is an opportunity for the Boutique Cigar Association to bring in their vendors and stage their own booth for us to come and see these small companies that really couldn't necessarily afford a footprint at PCA and bring their product to the market and okay. give us a chance to sample it. Very cool, very cool. So that's this, um, that's a unique partnership. Absolutely. And I briefly heard about that through Gabby. Um, it says Scott Pierce, PCA Executive Director, calls the new partnership a great win-win as boutique brands will now get added exposure while also supporting the PCA and its efforts. The PCA annual convention and trade show is the world's largest gathering for the pr premium cigar and pipe industry. Adding a strong BCAA component to the trade show will absolutely enhance our offering to re retailers to discuss great new brands to offer their customers while providing our world-class world -class stage for these brands to launch and grow, he said in a press release. Absolutely. The new partnership is being hailed as a crucial step in bringing together the scar industry and uniting companies big and small, mm. new and old. Yeah. Dr. Gabby Caffey, founder and current treasurer of the BCAA, commented, too many small companies go unrecognized or fail to join the mission to fight federal regulations, mm. which are causing challenges at all levels of the cigar industry. The vision of the BCAA is to bring all the boutique cigar companies together as one unified voice, well-informed, educated, and ready to act. Yeah. Greg Zimmerman, president of the PCA, added, being united in our pursuit to protect premium cigars and pipe tobacco is critical as we move forward through this changing regulatory movement. With our recent litigation successes, we now have a unique moment as an industry and having the BCAA alongside us will only enhance our voice and our efficiency. Absolutely. And in a side note to that, you and I are going to be hanging out with the BCAA crowd at Smoke in the Creek here in a little bit. Yes, we will. So uh, we will get to see and meet some of these vendors and bring some of that content to you. Yeah, we'll have that the next show. Thanks, guys. What's going on, everybody? I'm Kevin from Cigar Prop, and today's hard to pronounce word is Adi Paraka. Adi Paraka. The R confuses people. There's several different ways to pronounce that term, but just remember the R is pronounced like the letter D as in dog, not R. That's where people get confused. Adi. Paraka, Adi, O D D Y, Pa, Raka, Adi Paraka. You got a tip for me? Got a tip for you. All right, what is it? After you've cut your cigar and okay. your preferred method, one of the things you can do is just appreciate it, you know, inspect it, look at the wrapper, make sure it's all intact, check out that cap, make sure you haven't accidentally cut too much of it off. Hmm. Look at the roll and the configuration. So I can see how this one was bundled versus into bar mm -hmm. and so forth. Take that little bit of time to appreciate the cigar 
And now, of course, the smell. Mm -hmm. Don't don't do this to something you don't own, of course. But you know, in other words, oh. don't go into his shop or somebody else's shop and mm -hmm. uh, molest it. No, don't. You do that when you get home. Yeah. But anyway. you can really start appreciating the handiwork yeah. that goes into this and the craftsmanship yeah. that it really makes of, it. It is a work of art. Absolutely. So that is a tip, right? Absolutely. Just, that's the first part of lighting before you light it is right. just appreciate it. Take the time to relax and appreciate it. All right. There you go, guys. And I'm loving those tips. And no matter how long we've been smoking, they're always good yeah. for a reminder. It's always good to just be reminded or learn even the littlest thing. Yes. I love yes. it. Yes. Can never so, stop learning. Learning something new. I think we've got something new for you. We we do. I have I have heard about Frey Ranch, uh, but I've never had it. I've never tried it, and it was yeah. brought in for us today. So I'm uh, excited. yeah, a good friend of ours, James. Yeah. Uh, brought this in. Said he uh, we should have it on the show. So, James, we appreciate it. Uh, this is a Frey Ranch Farmers Distillers, Farmers and Distillers. Uh, Non-chill filtered straight rye whiskey. And it's 100 mm. proof, so I'm guessing that this is a bottled in bond, so that means yeah, it does that say, it's... Yeah, you're right. Bottled so, in bond right there. So, we, so we, right off the bat, because it's bottled in bond, we know it's four years age. Okay. All right. So that's something that comes with a bottle in bond. Yeah. So bottled in bond, it's got to be 100 proof, four years age, but distilled and aged in that's the rack house good, at the same location. Feel that cap. That, that's a that's, hefty cap. That's, that is hefty. That is a, that's a, you know, if you collect things like that, that's pretty cool cap that we've got on there. I'm going to be rude and pour myself first. Oh, be my guy. Uh, you know, my class, my glass was closest. So. Hey, <laughs> all, all that matters is that we both come into it. So you uh, being a, a bourbon steward, and you got something new, what are you, what are you looking at? I mean, you, you're going to know some things right off the bat. Bottle and bond being, like you said, right. four years age. It's a rye. It's a rye. It's going to be on the spicy side. It's going to be on the spicy side, and depending upon how much the rye is, how much percentage of rye, or if it's a barely legal, or if it's a you know a higher rye, which I don't, I didn't see anything on that. Yeah. Um, yeah, it just says we, we may get. We I'm expecting to get some fruity notes. Does from, it, out of does it make well. a difference? This says 100% slow grown winter rye. I honestly don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Here's here's an interesting tidbit of history on rye. Do you know who the very first person ever distilled rye was? No. The very first president, George Washington. He's the first person to... To, to distill rye that, that we know of in, here in the United well, States. was so the first president God to distill rye. God bless the first president. <laughs> he did a lot right. of things for us. Yeah, this is so this is new for me, new for you. Yeah. All right, so we're going to mm. nose that. For, ooh, that's got a... That's got a nice kick to it. That, that does. It's got a nice, is that an almost? A little bit of fruit. Fruit, fruity? Yeah, fr yeah fruity it's on, on the a nose. lighter smell side. Wow, that is. Color on it's nice. Mm. Okay, so spice hits the roof of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Back of my tongue. And the, yeah, the very back. Mm -hmm. Oh, in, in that finish, it's yeah. really getting you in that finish. Yeah, that's. Yeah, that's a nice fruity, dark fruit note in yes. there. That is nice. So and it's it's not it's not a berry. It's more like a a black cherry or black currant. Yeah, type. yeah, I would say so too. That's really nice. No. No. Stevens is looking up at it on on the uh, web there. Well, that's what I'm getting from it. I don't care what they say. Well, what they say is an interesting mix. Honey. Honey. Cacao. Cacao. Caramel. Caramel. Ginger. I don't get any ginger out of this. Pepper. Pepper, maybe, yes. Maybe pepper. Vanilla. Wood. Grapefruit. Grapefruit. I don't. So here, here's here's my contention with a lot of these, okay? And we've talked about this before. Mm -hmm. You know, we get, a, we get a cigar. You're going to expect to get some leathery notes, some... Um, earthy notes you're obviously going to get some tobacco notes out of it okay depending upon the region there you know you may get peppery notes out of it so it's going to be very much dependent upon the region on it but you can always bet that you're going to get some baseline notes right in american whiskey so this is bourbon rye wheat weeded 
any whiskey in America that is aged in a new charred oak barrel, mm -hmm. which in order to be classified as winning any one of those, it has to be. You're gonna get caramel notes. You're gonna get vanilla notes. The caramel comes from the charring of the, of the wood. The vanilla notes comes from the oak itself. These are notes that you're always going to get. So my contention with a lot of these profilers that, t that give you these, oh, I get this, Okay, yeah, congratulations. I'm glad that you're getting caramel and vanilla notes mm -hmm. out, of, out of a bourbon. Mm -hmm. it, I wouldn't classify it a bourbon if you didn't get some. But I definitely don't get ginger out of this. And some of those things that Stephen noted off of the side there, I definitely don't get any of those. I definitely get more of a fruity. I, do, I, can, see, I can see caramel now, you know, obviously. Yeah. And is that the power of suggestion? You know, who knows, but... Honey and cacao, or but honey and cacao—that's too it. Cacao's chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. On the other end of the spectrum, but the though. Bitter of the chocolate, yeah. And grapefruit is. Mm -mm. is That's citrus, very citrusy. I, I'm not getting any citrus out of it. I don't get all. any citrus, no ginger. That's interesting. That I'm getting a tiny. I can see a tiny, tiny bit of ginger mm. on the retro, the very, very, very back, kind of mixed in with that pepper. See, that's what I was wondering: is the ginger and pepper with it? The They're kind, kind of mixed in because it's almost like a sweet pepper, and you know, ginger has a little bit of spice to it. Yeah, it does. Okay. So I like ginger beer. Yes. Yeah. Now, in the middle of the palate, where the oils are coming out, mm -hmm. that's where I'm getting a little bit of, of the cacao. Okay. on it and the, and the honey so that i can see that with the viscosity mm, of okay. it in, in the center of the palate okay. grapefruit mm. i'm wondering if they ate the grapefruit before they had a sip of this you the know day before or whatever you know, who what, knows. what what is that I, i'm not yeah. i'm not getting that yeah but you know just the the little drinks that i had there and then this is a new cigar for me that you brought in um so that had a nice little pairing to it. So tell me a little bit about this cigar that you brought, because this I, I'm not even familiar with this one at all. Well, this, this cigar is new to me as well. Mm. I've had it sitting in my humidor for almost a year. Now, if you look at the label, you're going to see a date on the label, 8-15-2021, and yes. uh, Legion legend. So Jimmy Legion is a uh, brother of the leaf that was a part of a couple of different... Uh, cigar groups. Okay. And he got COVID in 2021 hmm. and was in intensive care for a number of months. And 815 is the anniversary of his death. Okay. And so this cigar was created by the Leaf Mob. Okay. And was used to raise money for his daughter and his wife. And so because he was so loved, and such a great member of the community, we wanted to honor. Yeah. And so I brought this in, and I've never smoked the cigar either. Okay. I, want, I brought this in so that we can pay homage hmm. okay. to our brother Jimmy, yeah. but also to all of our brothers and sisters of the leaf that we've lost over the year. Yeah. So, yeah. Here's to, to you. Yes, definitely. Thanks for bringing this in, Dave. So we're not really sure who blended this. There, there's two there's two blenders that do a lot of work for um, Little Leaf Mob, okay. and two very well known blend, blenders, okay. uh, Sinistro and Rojas. Rojas. And I just don't remember which one of the two. I want to say it's I want to say it's Noel Rojas, but it could very well be um, Sinistro. the Sinistro. Yeah. And okay. phenomenal cigars from oh, both groups. Yeah, either one of those. If you guys have not had any of those. I've noticed that, uh, you know, the, the Rojas is getting in more. He's got mm -hmm. his factory open now mm -hmm. um, in Nicaragua. Uh, yeah, Nicaragua. Yeah, in Ni Nicaragua, yeah, right yeah, there so, in SLE. Yeah, so he's got his factory open. I wish I could have went for the uh, tour. Um, and, um, or is that at the end of the month? I think it's at the end of the month. Yes. Yeah, so I think it's the end of the month. Coming up, yeah. Yeah. But uh, he's going to do more tours. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure he will do more tours, uh, especially with his... Uh, how to become a uh, uh, cigar specialist. Specialist. Yeah, yes, specialist, yeah. Specialist. I was looking for that word. But yeah, either one of those. And Sinistro, a lot of great cigars. If you guys don't have those, you need to seek them out. Ask your local brick and mortar if they can get them in. I'm sure 
you know they're going to be m making the rounds trying to get into more cigar uh shops so um that's how you do it word of mouth a lot of people if you guys say enough of you say hey i, I want to see these cigars in there they'll they'll take note to it that's how it works um, so this is, I don't, we don't know what the blend is. Don't know what the blend is. I don't um, remember what the blend is. That's looking like a wrapper of, you say, a nice Habano? Um, I was either going to go with a Creole. Habano or a, um, it's, it's not a Connecticut Broadleaf. No, 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 no. No, I've, actually I'm thinking this is, this is probably a Criollo. Criollo, yeah. Yeah. And, it's and because. It's nice and it's, it's smooth. It's a nice clean looking very wrapper. very clean yeah yeah you can see there's not a lot of not a lot of veins mm -hmm. in there so when you've got a um, new cigar for you and a new drink you've got a piece of paper out you're making notes things like that I've, but yeah what if you've got a cigar like this that you don't even know what that is how are you making notes on that just tasting notes i'm just so like right off the bat on this particular one i'm getting i'm getting um you know some leather notes, you know, which as we just talked about, I'm going to get some leather notes out yeah. of this. I'm getting a little bit of graham cracker. In it's this. got a light taste in it's there. A very light taste to it. So uh, yeah, I can see the graham cracker. I'm trying to figure out what it is myself, but you're right. It's like a, almost like a light breadish type taste mm -hmm. that I'm getting out of it. So um, graham cracker, I, you know, yeah, I guess but yeah, kind of a light bready taste. Very light bread and not overly sweet. No. But you know, it's, I, I, I hate to say an er earthy bready, you know, it's almost kind of, kind of reminds me maybe of a little bit of a sourdough type. Hmm. You know, it's, okay. it's not overly sweet, but it's got a nice. Yeah, it's not, yeah, it's, a, it's a, almost like I would say a clean taste. Yes, I, I like that clean, yeah. 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 It's got a real clean taste. Okay. If you can say a cigar is crisp, hmm. then I would say this cigar, this cigar is crisp. Okay. And and it is ma it is making my mouth levitate, you know. Hmm. So that's you yeah. know it's got it's the the acidity levels are really nice on it. It's telling me that the tobacco has got a nice age to it, with it. Right. And so you know as I'm as I'm exploring a new cigar, I'm going through just exactly what we're talking about, and I'm just taking notes on it. Normally I'll smoke one two or three times before I actually decide what it is that I want to yeah, pair it with. Yeah, that's a nice coming off of either the smoke first and the drink or the drink and then the smoke. Uh, it's, it, it, I love it when you, basically what I do when I, when I have a cigar, and yeah, if I'm not taking notes, but I'm sitting here like I am, we're doing this, is you know I'm paying attention to what I'm drinking and smoking, and, and it's those moments when mm. you go, oh, okay. That's a little different. Like I just did. Yeah. Just like, okay, something caught my attention. And then you try to pay attention. What did I, what did I just taste? What was that? Or it just, you know, if I can't pinpoint it, it's just like, okay, that's good. I like that. I need to remember to put these two together, you know? Uh, so that's, that's great. Well, Dave, um, so that was interesting. We've got a drink and a cigar that neither of us have had. A double blind. Double blind. Double blind. Uh, we are going to take another shop stop. Yes, we are. Yeah. So I'm I'm ex I'm excited to excited to walk through the cigar shop with everybody. All right, man. You guys take a look at this sh shop stop with uh, Dave Yancey and Leap and Gray. And this is another episode of Shop Stop here in Burleson at Wild Cigars. So as we come in and start walking through here, we're going to look and see what Wild Cigars has to offer and everything that they've got going on here. Looking over here, we've got Lance, who's one of the one of the owners. And tobacconist. So we're one of the owners and tobacconists here at Wild Cigars, and we're going to walk into their humidor and take a look at what they've got to offer here and take a look at everything they've got going on here. So we can see just right off the bat that they've got a nice selection, got Crux Cigars. Crux Cigars is such a good brand. I am just such a big fan of the, the Bull and Bear and the Epicure Maduro and oh, and I just love the Guild over here. They've got a good selection over here. We've got some Oscars, so there's the Superfly, oh, the Leaf. If you ever want to try it out of just different types of leaves, the leaf by Oscar with the Sumatra and the, the 
the Corojos is so good. Got some Lugione, Lugione 88. You can never find the Lugione 88 of the Candela. It's such a good cigar. Sebastian with a Cavalier. Got a couple of different Cavaliers. Got some Arturo Fuente. So they've got some some good brands there. Some of the mainline brands with Arturo Fuentes. Placencias, very nice. Placencias, Roma Crafts. Oh, very nice. I've got some Rome, Room 101's uh, Matt Booth cigars there. Crown Heads, which you know how I love my Crown Heads. Mil Diaz, the uh, Series E, Pichardo, Classicas, Fiat Lux, which if you remember that this was my number one cigar for 2021, the Fiat Lux. The Sin Comp Compromisos, so that is uh, Steve Saka's stuff. Look at this. If you're ever looking for a Sober Mesa Brulee, they've got different Vitolas from the Sober Mesa Brulees. Such a great, 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 great cigar. Highly recommended those. AJ Fernandez, look at this. Look at what they've got here with the AJ Fernandez here. Viva La Vida, so I just got finished smoking a Viva La Vida, such a good cigar. This one is blended by A.J. Fernandez, which not a lot of people know that A.J. actually is the blender on those. Got Drew Estate here with the Herrera Stellis and the Havas. Got the Leather Rose. Got the Dead White, so if you're looking for something that is a little more on the sweet tip style there. Some acids down there. Got some nubs by Oliva, Southern Draw, Southern Draw, such a such a good smoke there, and Nick Perdomo. So I got some Perdomo cigars. So they've got a nice selection here of cigars, and you can see that there's you know this is a pretty pretty decent sized humidor that they've got here. So let's walk out and see what else we got going on. Got some good swag, some with some wild sh shirts here. Look at that. Cigar band art. If you have not followed Kim yet with her work on the cigar band art, you need to check her out. Everything, all of that artwork is just made from cigar bands and just that vision of what you can come up with. Nice size lounge here for everybody to check out got some nice lockers for the humidors and they have two levels on their member section so they've got the $40 member section so it's $40 a month or $400 a year there's another one of Kim's pieces of work and so you can see some other stuff but with that you get the lockers and then you get a 15% discount off, off of everything except for the bar but look at this bar here nice bar and there's Kim over there. So Kim is the artist behind the cigar art. And she's also the mixologist. And I've had two of her drinks since I've been here so far today. I've had her Old Fashioned, which as a mixologist myself, that Old Fashioned is a good go-to. But I've got to tell you what. This Smoked Cherry Manhattan is off the hook. That She makes her own sweet vermouth with a, her Smoked Cherry Manhattan which you've got to try. So absolutely check out what she has been able to do. So we're coming out here to the patio. Really nice patio that they've got out here. Beautiful scenery. You let jerks like us in. <laughs> you guys are going to be on YouTube Live. Is that okay? That's yeah. totally fine. Okay. So, so yes, I'm with Leaf and Grain Society, and we're doing a shop stuff here featuring featuring Wild. Oh, cool. So, what, what, real quick, what do you, what is it that you guys love about Wild Cigars here? I mean, well, it's two miles from my house, which is fantastic. Uh, just, it's just a great room. Patio is awesome. 
bar selection is good. Everyone works with it's great. Just they just do a really good job in this place. So, so there, there you heard it just right off the bat, folks. This is not just me just talking it up. This is actual patronage that that actually love it, and that's what it's all about. So we're gonna walk into the private lounge over here to see what that is. So the private lounge is is kind of like the deluxe membership area for for the for the membership lounge, and it looks like they just had a birthday party here. Oh, it looks like they've actually got the birthday party going on back there. So not going to be able to walk back in there because we don't want to interrupt them. But you've got a really nice sitting area back in that area uh, for for the members. And of course, the restrooms. Can't, can't have a place without restrooms, right? But coming up over here is something that I really wanted to feature. Is, is look at this right here. This is what it's all about. They have a ready to go podcast area with all the equipment that you can rent out. Now you're gonna to need to check out their website, check out their Facebook, which I'll post in the comments below, in the description below as after, after we get this posted. But you can see that they've got a soundproof podcast area. So if you wanted to do your own podcast, you could. So that's the other door into the private members area. So looking back at this, you can see it's a really nice, really nice lounge. I highly recommend it. So again, this is in Burleson, Texas. So come on down, check them out, and and pick up a cigar, have a nice drink, schedule some time for to do your own podcast there, and just enjoy a good smoke. So until then, till next. This is Gray Bear with Leaf and Grain, and this was a shop stop at Wild Cigars in Burleson. So, we're wrapping up another great show. Great shop stops. Shop stops. We had words. Mm. Um, we've got some um, tips. Yep. I mean, even the seasoned smoker is going to always, I mean, always learn. Keep yeah. learning. Yeah. Keep we got learning. our cigar news. If you guys are enjoying what you're liking, man, leave a comment below. Um, if you want to do a, uh, a walkthrough of your own brick and mortar, make sure you email me at Tobacco uh, huh, Tobacco You're, Commander. You tell me. Yeah. Yeah. We'll you get it to you. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, send it to uh, Texas Cigar Roadshow at gmail.com. And uh, I'd love to see a, a brick and mortar that's out there in y'all's way. Until then, uh, and next time, like we always say, enjoy the leaf, grow the culture. Texas Cigar Roadshow is presented by Lone Star Cigar Association.